Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the main demo in the VP Rentals team. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins and the first step before the demo import is to activate my team. Here I will need to add my license code from Team Forest. Next I will need to click check license. And now my theme is activated. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo icons to be imported along with the demo content, you will need to install the SVG support plugin. For that, you will need to go to plugins, click add new, look for the SVG support plugin. This is the one that you need to install. Click install now and activate the plugin. Now you can proceed with the main demo import. You will need to go to VP Rentals options, import demo section. Here you will find all demos available for the VP Rentals team. This is the main demo. You will need to click import demo, continue and import and wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo is complete and next I will show the steps that you need to make after the demo import. I will click visit site. You can see that the demo was imported. First I will go back to admin. Here I will set permalinks correctly. I will do that from settings permalinks. I will set them to post name and save changes. Next, I will quickly show the options available in Team Options. So I will go to VP Rentals Options General. Here you can make many settings. In general settings, you can change country, measurement unit and other settings. In Logos and Favicon, you will be able to upload your own logo and replace the demo one. In booking settings, you will be able to select the booking type, weekend dates and other settings related to the booking process. Next, in map, you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can use OpenStreet or Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added here. Next, you will have the listing page section. Here, you will have options for the listing page design and options. You can manage the listing page sections from the listing page layout manager. You also have the option to add a disclaimer in your listings and make settings for similar listing section. Next, in design, you will have options to make changes for listing card, info box on the map and make other settings. In payments and submit you can manage the booking payment options. You can set a deposit fee and a service fee. Also here you can enable the payment supported. You can set WooCommerce payments and in this case you will need to install the WooCommerce plugin and set payments from the plugin or you can keep it set to no and enable the team payments which are PayPal. Stripe and wire transfer. Next you will have the search section. Here you can make settings for the advanced search. You can select the type of search that you want to use and make other settings. In SMS management you can enable the SMS service that will work with Tulio. This was just a quick overview of the options available in Team Options, you will need to check each section and make settings that will fit your domain. Now I will go back on front end. The home page elements were imported correctly, but for two of them you will need to make manual adjustments for them to show exactly as in the official demo. For this section and the one here we use property categories and since on each domain the categories have different IDs, you will need to manually make adjustments. First, I will show how the sections were created. The home page was created with Elementor, so I will click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to the categories section here. This section was created with the VP Rentals category slider. Here the categories from demo need to be selected and for each of these categories an image will need to be manually uploaded. Here the categories were saved 
from the demo. I will check the second section as well. Here we use VP Rentals Grid. It was set to display category, but not all demo categories were saved, so I will need to select three categories more. And for each category selected, I will need to manually upload an image. I will save the changes made and next I will show how to upload images to your categories. I will go to admin, you will find all property categories under listings. The property categories are categories, what do you rent, city, neighborhood, feature and amenities and property status. On front end we used categories, so I will start with this section. We used apartment and the first step to upload an image is to edit the category. You will need to press the upload image button and you will be able to upload an image from your device or select one from media. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and update. I will go to home page. I will refresh the page and you will see that the image for apartment is showing now. I will go back to admin. For the other section we used categories from neighborhood. I will show an example from neighborhood as well, but the steps are exactly the same. I will edit the category. I will press the upload image button. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and update. I will go on front end and refresh the page. Now I can see the image that I just uploaded. Since the steps are the same for each category, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images. Now the sections show as the official demo ones. And this is the second section. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next, I will show some quick guidelines on how to edit the homepage elements. The page was created with Elementor, but the header section was created from the team. In this header, you have the team slider. The properties that we'll show in the slider are managed from team options. So I will go back to team options, general team slider. Here you will need to select the properties that we'll show in the slider. You can also add properties by ID. You can change the time before auto cycling and you can change the design type. We'll go back to the home page. If you want to change the team slider, you will need to edit the home page and scroll down to the page appearance options. Here you will have select header type. Currently it is set to team slider, but you can choose image, revolution slider, Google map or a video header. In this section you will also have the option to set transparent header or not only on the home page and you also can manage the sidebar settings for this page. I will go back to the page. Over the header you will have this search. The search is managed from team options. From search in the main demo we use the search type 2. This search form cannot be customized. You will have by default these fields but you can switch to another type if you want to be able to select the fields that will show in the search. Next in the page you will have sections created with Elementor. So I will go to the Elementor editor and I will explain how each section was created. I have here Navigator enabled to have better access to each section. I will start with the first one. Here we created a section with listings, for that we used the VP Rentals recent items widget. You will be able to change settings like number of items, random pick, filter the properties by category and make other settings. For the second section we used the VP Rentals category slider widget that I already explained how to set. Next you will have featured properties section that was created with the VP Rentals featured listing widget. Here we added the ID of the listing that we wanted to show on front end. I will show how to find the listing ID. You will need to go to admin, listings, and here you will find the IDs for each listing in your site. You will need to copy the ID of the listing that you want to show on front end and paste it in the widget. We made the same setup 
for the second column. As well, going further, we added a row with an image. The image can be managed from the style from style. Here you will be able to delete the demo image and upload your own. For the next section, we created a section with the VP Rentals display categories as tab widget. Here you will find tabs for each category that you want to show and under you will see the elements added under that category. You will be able to change the categories and make other settings. To display this section over the image one, we added a negative margin for this section that you can find in advance and you can change it to move the section. Going further, we added a white section for the design to show as we want it. For this section, we also added negative margin that you can change to increase or not the white space below the image. Next, you'll have category section, which I already described and it was created with the VP Rentals grids widget. You will have the option to change categories and make other settings. Below this section, we created a section to display owners. Each owner was added with the VP Rentals featured owner widget. Here, to display the owner that you want, you will need to add here the owner ID. I will show where you will find each owner ID. I will go back to admin and in owner section, you will find the IDs here. Going back to Elementor Editor. Next, we made this section with video and a button. The image was added as the column background and you can change it from style. Here you can delete the demo image and upload your own. Over this image we added text that you can edit. Also we added a video button. Using the VP Rentals video player widget you will have the option to change the video link and add your own. And also you will be able to change the button settings. You can add your own link and make other settings. Going further, here we created a testimonial section. We used the VP Rentals testimonial widget. You will have the option to change client name, client title, image and text. You will need to do this for each element in the section. Going further, here we created a section with icons and text. For icons we used the icon widget from Elementor, you will be able to select another icon from Font Awesome or upload your own SVG icons. And also for the text, we used image box and you will be able to change the text here. You will need to do the same for each element in this section. Next, we created a section to display blog posts. For that, we used the VP Rentals featured article widget. Here, you will need to add the ID of the blog posts that you want to display on frontend. I will go to admin and show where to take the blog post IDs from. Under posts, you'll find this column and here you can copy the ID of the blog post that you want to display on frontend. I will go back to the Elementor editor and for the last section in the page, we created a section with a contact form and an image. The contact form was added with the contact form builder. Here you will be able to change the contact form fields and make other settings. And for the second column, we added an image which you can change from style. Here you can delete the demo image and upload your own. Also in this section, we enabled an effect from Elementor. You will need to select the main section and from style in the shape divider, you will be able to change this effect to none or select other options that you like. These are all the elements from the homepage. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.